It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, back on the IE Network. And this is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. So are we really surprised? Are we really surprised? Tristan Thompson. <laughs> um, so now, it is stating that Marilee Nichols, who came forward to let the world know that she was pregnant and about to give birth to Tristan Thompson's baby. As we all know, Tristan Thompson is the baby father and on again, off again boyfriend of the last, what, four years of Khloe Kardashian. He's cheated on Khloe numerous times, multiple times. Khloe keeps taking him back. So this Marilee Nichols stated that Tristan Thompson allegedly wanted her to get an abortion. Now, uh, this article from page six, she allegedly has text messages from Tristan. Tristan says, you know how I feel. My feelings haven't changed at all. Won't be involved at all. By the way, if you think having this baby is going to make you some money, it's completely wrong. You are aware I'm retiring after this season. So in terms of support, it will be whatever is required monthly for someone who's unemployed. It's Texas, so it will be only a couple of hundred dollars, which is not true. So you're better off taking this 75 k I'm offering you. Because you won't get nothing near that with having a kid with a father who's unemployed. All you will have is a baby with a father who has zero involvement with the child and a few hundred dollars of child support a month. Wow. That allegedly is the text messages he sent to this Marilee Nichols. Um, those messages was included in the court documents. Khloe Kardashian has not made any statement. Of course, she just threw up a couple of quotes or whatever. Oh, I'm negative energy, blah, blah, blah. Listen, Khloe, enough is enough. You know, this man has made you look like a fool. Made you like a fool. So now you're at the point now where you don't want to leave because... People are going to say, we told you, we told you so. Nichols attorney declined to comment. Attorney for Thompson having returned paid six is numerous requests for comment. G is also pretty tight with Chloe. She didn't get a response back from Chloe. She did text her. Nichols who moved from Houston to Los Angeles is suing Thompson for child support despite the fact that her baby is yet to be born. Well, that baby was allegedly born today. Though she is due December 3rd, which was today, the baby was allegedly conceived on Thompson's 30th birthday in March when he and Khloe Kardashian were still dating. Of course, they were. Regardless of Khloe not dating or, or the on and off dating Tristan, she's been screwing him for the last four or five years, even when they weren't together. So, Khloe... You know, good luck with that. So I can tell you. <laughs> Excuse me, girls. Now, Deion Sanders <laughs> invited Brittany Renner. Now, everybody knows Deion Sanders, prime time. One of the greatest football players to ever lace him up. He invites Hip Hop Wired, says he invites Thirst Trap expert Brittany Renner to school players' locker room. <laughs> so she's there at Jackson State to talk to the young men, the ones that she said, I'm at Jackson State, I just hunts. She's there to talk to the young men about groupies, gold diggers. <laughs> Are you serious? I, I read this. I thought this was a joke. But it was not. And when you look at it, when you think about it, hey, who would know more about women like Brittany Renner than Brittany Renner? <laughs> Excuse me, guys. She said she was pretty much warning them about guys like, I mean, about women like her. Um, Deion Sanders earned his stripe on the gridiron as one of the most electric NFL players of all time and now leads a group of young men on the field as a football coach for Jackson State. 
uh, he took the unconventional route and invited Brittany Renner. Um, Renner, who played soccer at Jackson State, returned to the campus earlier this fall, made an ill-timed joke about folks hiding their son, no doubt connected to her infamous dealings with Charlotte Hornets player P.J. Washington, whom she has a child with. However, Renner recently admitted to struggling in her personal life since splitting with Washington. According to a video, Renner tried to vary the pitfalls of dating as a high-profile athlete or celebrity figure, a world Renner apparently knows well. To her credit, Renner believes the talk to be a positive time, according to the captions of a aforementioned video she posted to the account. Um, <laughs> it, it is definitely an unconventional way, but she basically was talking to them and saying, hey, listen, don't be, don't find women like me. It's a little bit of what she said. Let's see if I can get it here. Hold on. See, this, this is definitely unconventional, boy. <laughs> Prime time was trying every, he trying everything to get to these boys, man. Listen to the reaction. These women said, My God. <laughs> calm down now, calm down. Can you introduce yourself and let's go from step A to Z because we got to kind of show these guys the other side right. of game. And that's mm -hmm. why you gracefully blessed us with your presence. So they can understand from your point of view how this game is played. Dion trying to hit something. <laughs> <laughs> understand how the game is played. Wow. Look, 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 listen, listen. I'm all for, hey, man, Brittany, she can put some of this, you know, to good. If she can school these young men on how not to be, how not to chase women like her, she basically lets them know that women like her will be up in their DMs. They're going to be athletes. And what to look for, you know, when those type of women are in their DMs. <laughs> wow. So shout out to Brittany Renner, man. Um, Doja Cat. Released the video, Woman. She had Tiana Taylor in the video. And a lot of people now, you know, even though I'm saying Doja Cat, to me, is not a rapper. Well, guess what? Now, you know, the so-called so mainstream media, a.k.a. the white media, <clears throat> they're going to start latching on to this. Uh, Doja Cat is a rapper thing because now people are starting to call Doja Cat the queen. Already. On Twitter, all hail the new queen of hip-hop, Doja Cat. We have a new queen of rap in town, Doja Cat. You know, she's nominated for for eight Grammys. None of them, I believe, is in the rap category. Only the, the best friend record with Saweetie. But you better bet, if they can feel as though they have Doja Cat, they tried it with Iggy Azalea. But Doja Cat is way more talented. She's way more relatable in the culture, and she's half black. And if they can say, oh, we can get one of our own, of also being the queen, I try to tell y'all not to refer to Doja Cat as a rapper. Now, you're going to help create a monster that they are going to use to push anybody black that was considered the queen out. 
I'm letting you know right now what's going to happen. So when it happens next year, when Doja Cat is in all the rap categories and sweeping through these awards and getting up on that podium and no longer thanking the people she thanked in the past, no longer saying, oh, so-and-so was an influence, so-and-so, because that's not what they're going to have her say. Watch what I tell you. They're going to say, you know what? We tried to put her in pop. You know they watch what we do. They watch what we talk about. We tried to put her in pop. We tried to put her in R&B. But no, y'all naggers want her as a rapper? Okay, we're going to put her as a rapper. And we're going to start making sure she's the queen of rap. Then y'all going to start complaining. All the Meg fans, all the Cardi fans, all the Lil' Kim fans, all the Nicki fans, everyone who thinks that their favorite's a queen, they're going to start saying, oh, this girl ain't no rapper. Well, I was telling y'all she's not a rapper. But no, y'all want to put her as a rapper. Okay, so guess what? You're going to help create a monster that's going to come back to bite you. Um, The video for Woman was dope, though. You know, Doja Cat is very talented. She's very talented. She reminded me a lot of Left Eye in, in uh, her rapping in this video. And to me, like I've always said, she is a rich man's Fergie. She's a rich man's Fergie. She's Fergie. She's exactly what Fergie was, except she sings a little better, dances better, and raps better. That's why she's a rich man's Fergie. But shout out to Doja Cat. I said she would have a big 2021. I had up there with Saweetie. And I said she was going to, when these awards come around, she's definitely going to win some. People were saying, oh, she's going to get shut out. I got. I predicted she would win at least three of those eight. At least three. Maybe even more. But we'll keep an eye on it. Go check out the woman video. It was dope. You know. They said she embarks on another spaced out adventure in a new music video for Woman, a track off her latest album, Planet Her. Clip was directed by Child, and it finds an intergalactic queen being warned of an imminent threat to her throne. You see how they, what they're trying to do? Black queen, Tiana Taylor, threat to her throne, Doja Cat. You see where I'm going with this? Conjuring the most powerful weapon she has at her disposal. Doja Cat, admittedly the narrative plot gets kind of lost from there. But that doesn't mean the rest of the clip isn't lacking in eye-popping visuals, futuristic costumes, and expertly choreographed dance sequences. Um, Doja Cat released Planet Her back in June Following up on her 2019 pop breakout, Hot Pink, yada, 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 um, eight Grammys, whatever. So, read between the lines. Read between the lines. Conjuring the most powerful weapon she has. The Clippers direct or intellect the queen being warned of it. So she used Doja Cat as the weapon to protect the queen. Anyway, you see what they're trying to say. Go check the video out. <laughs> they slick, boy. Go check the video out. Shout out to Doja Cat. It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, for the IE Network.